Two more documents on the Synod were presented this morning in the Vatican. Pope Francis also sent a letter to the Synod Secretary with suggestions on topics that will need to be examined further. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more. Good evening, Tracy. Today, the events at the Vatican brought us one step closer to the October Synod. Cardinal Mario Gregg received a letter from Pope Francis regarding the Synod on Synodality. It outlined 10 discussion points to the Secretary General, and among them were the relationship between the Eastern Catholic Churches and the Roman Latin Church, the mission of the Church in the digital environment, and how the Church can best listen to the cry of the poor. Now, smaller study groups will examine these discussion points ahead of the 2024 session and will be working on it even after the conclusion of the Synod. Pope Francis wanted an ample amount of time for his suggestions to be studied and properly examined. He also insisted that the second part of the Synod should not only be about these topics. Other points touch on the relationship between bishops, consecrated life, and ecclesial associations, as well as the priestly formation. There will be some controversial topics for the study groups as well. Among the most notable was what one of the documents today presented calls the possible access of women to the diaconate. At today's press conference at the Holy See Press Office, Cardinals Mario Gregg and Jean-Claude Hollerig presented the findings of the first synodal session from last year and a preparatory document for next October titled How to Be a Synodal Church in Mission. At the end of the conference, the Relator General of the Synod, Cardinal Jean-Claude Hollerig, told EWTN News that synodality is meant for the whole church and emphasized the importance of mission. We do not want to polarize. We want to bring people together. And I think we have succeeded in the first, uh, last year in October, and we have to act very wisely to continue uh, that process. So it's important that synodality is not just for progressive church. Synodality is for the whole church. It gives life to the church. It centers the church again on mission. And we all know that we need to proclaim Christ to the world. In the coming months, we will continue reporting about new developments leading up to October when bishops from all around the world will gather again here at the Vatican. In Rome, Andreas Townhauser, EWTN News Nightly.